Kamusta guys? Ito ang first live lesson ko. Hi, hi, me. Hi, Joel. Guys, let me know kung nakikinig niyo ako. Can you just type yes if you can hear me? You're dating. Hi, kumusta, friendy? Thanks for joining. Salamat sa pag-join. Taglish. No echo now. Okay. Yan, better. Alright, sige, magsimula na tayo. Ang topic for today is learn the five meanings of the word dating in Tagalog. For sure, si Joel, because he's been my student. <laughs> Alam niya na yung one of the meanings ng word na dating. And if you have also been uh, watching, following me, for sure you already know one of the meanings of the word dating. Ano yung isa? Isang meaning of the word dating that you can think of. This is the root word for arrive, di ba? So this is an um verb. <laughs> it means arrive. And the conjugation is like that. You put an um right after the first letter. The mating, past tense, you need to say arrived. In a sentence, you can say, Dumating ako alas ocho ng umaga sa bahay. Or, oh, ito, present tense. Dumadating ako sa opisina alas 9 ng umaga, araw-araw. I arrive in the office at 9 in the morning every day. And if it's future tense, dadating will arrive. Dadating ako sa opisina alas 10 ng umaga. So that's the first meaning of the word dating. For sure, you already know this. And also, lastly, infinitive, infinitive to verb, to arrive. I need to arrive at the airport by 3 p.m. Kailangan kong dumating sa airport ng alas tres ng hapon. So, that is the first meaning of the word dating. Review pa lang yan, guys. That is just a review. Dahil, for sure, alam nyo na yan. You already know that. Dahil... Nasabi ko na yan, I have already mentioned this sa mga previous videos ko. Now, let's go to the second. Second meaning of the word dating. What is when in Tagalog? Diba? When in Tagalog is kapag. Kapag. This is when in Tagalog. Now, if we say pay wise or when it comes to the pay, pay-wise, workload-wise, or when it comes to the pay, when it comes to the workload, how do we say this expression in Tagalog? We use the word dating. And because when is pag, we will just make it one word and we say pag dating. Pag dating literally means when it comes to. For example, yung conversation is like this. Uh, hey, how's your new job? How's your new work? And then you want to say, um, pay-wise, okay lang. Or when it comes to the pay, um, okay lang. Pero when it comes to the workload, ay, grabe. <laughs> Sobrang nakakapagod. It's so tiring. Ma masyadong maraming trabaho. Maraming trabaho. So, how do you translate that in Tagalog? We say, Pagdating sa sahod, Okay lang. <laughs> Maybe it's not too small, not too big, okay lang. Pagdating sa sahod, or you can also say, Sueldo, because Sueldo, we also use the Spanish term. Pay, in Tagalog guys, is sahod or sueldo. Pagdating sa sahod, pagdating sa sweldo, okay lang, okay lang. Pero, pagdating sa trabaho, <laughs> hindi okay. <laughs> Nakakapagod. Pagdating, but when it comes to, or workload-wise, ay grabe. <laughs> hindi ko kaya, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Nakakapagod. It's so tiring. Nakakapagod. So, ayan guys, ang second meaning ng word na dating. Number one, arrive. When used as a verb, it means arrive. Dumating, 
dumadating, darating, dumating. Number two, pagdating, when it comes to. Or yung my wise. <laughs> Pay wise, education wise. Let's have more examples. Let me see kung mayroon kayong <laughs> pagdating sa Tagalog, okay lang ako. Oh, maganda, tama yan. Tama yung example mo, Jaime. Sabi naman ni Friendy, dating in Tagalog, datang in Indonesian. Wow, talaga. Sige guys, may, kung meron kayong tanong, clarification, i-chat nyo dyan. <laughs> Isulat nyo. Oh, how's your new boss? Kumusta ang bagong boss mo? Pagdating sa trabaho, okay siya. Mabait naman, mabait na boss. Pero pagdating sa pera, <laughs> kuripot. <laughs> walang increase, walang increase. Or maliit, small, maliit ang increase sa, sa sweldo. <laughs> Kumusta ang Tagalog mo? Kumusta ang Tagalog nyo? Kumusta ang Tagalog learning journey nyo? Ano yung mga pwede nating sabihin? What are the things that we can say? When it comes to reading, I'm okay. Like also for my Spanish <laughs> learning journey, when it comes to reading, I can read it, I can understand it. Pero pagdating sa real conversation, uh, I'm still not yet that good. Kasi uh, still learning. Yes, that is correct. Sabi ni Jaime, my question is it always followed by sa? Yes, that's correct. When it comes to pagdating sa. Because to in Tagalog is sa. To is equal to sa. So, magandang tanong. That's a good question. Okay, let's describe a place. Kumusta ang bagong apartment mo? And then, you want to say, um, when it comes to the rental fee, okay lang, mura. Mura. Um, Cheap, not expensive. Pagdating sa renta, mura siya. So, okay, di ba? Also, guys, I'm using siya because siya is not just he or she or her or him in Tagalog. We can also use it as it. Or I will just have a separate lesson on that. <laughs> the other way around, we can say, Pagdating sa facilities, maganda. Pero pagdating sa renta, mahal. So, facility-wise, it's good. Great, pero rent-wise, mm, expensive, mahal. <laughs> Review, number one, yung meaning ng dating is arrive, di ba? Number two, when it comes to. Number three, pangatlo. Dating is equal to charm. So how do we um, use this in a sentence? Ganito. It's like this. Hindi siya masyadong maganda, pero may dating. So, basically you're saying, she's not that pretty, but she's uh, charming. My, remember, what does my mean? Has, have, there is, there are, right? So, my dating basically means she's got sex appeal. Sex appeal, yeah. Pogi ba yun? <laughs> Is that guy handsome? Pogi ba yun? Hindi naman, may dating lang. <laughs> not really, not really that handsome. Hindi naman masyadong pogi, pero may dating lang. Kasi matangkad or um, maganda yung smile <laughs> or I don't know, funny. <laughs> Dito sa Pilipinas, kapag funny ang lalaki, automatic pogi. <laughs> Automatic pogi yan. So, may dating kapag funny ang lalaki. Kapag nakakatawa, may dating. Oh, may bagong job mo eh. Kumusta po kayo? How to know when na... Uh, uh, sige, um, I have a step. Kumusta, Justin? Meron akong separate lesson about na ma, mag verb, um verb. <laughs> Tingnan mo, i-review mo yan later. Pero for today's lesson, this is understand the word dating, the five meanings of the word dating in Tagalog. So, i-recap ko mamaya. I'm going to do a review, a recap. So, ngayon, we are on the third meaning na, which is charm. Dating is equal to charm. 
And then number two, the expression pagdating sa when it comes to. When it comes to. Pagdating sa. And then number three, my dating is equal to charming or um, has sex appeal. Yan yan. Ayan yung pangatlo. Now let's go to the fourth. Fourth meaning of the word dating. Dating is equal to impression. Your impression of someone or something. Anong dating sa'yo? Anong ano ang? What is the? Dating, impression, or wedding image, ganun, sa'yo. So essentially, what this phrase means, anong dating sa'yo is, it's just, what do you think of this? <laughs> What do you think of this? For example, um, what do you think of the offer? Basically, yan ang meaning yan. Anong dating sa'yo? Um, so here, we are talking about an object, right? We can also use this for um, a person. Anong dating sa'yo ng bagong boss? What is your impression? <laughs> what is your impression about our new boss? Or what do you think of our new boss? Ganon. Anong dating sa'yo ng bagong boss? So, kanina, we learned na yung pagdating sa is when it comes to, right? So, you can also answer this question um, using the same expression. So, uh, anong dating sa'yo ng bagong boss? Um, okay lang. Pagdating sa trabaho, uh, seryoso siya. si serious. Seryoso siya. Pero... Pagdating sa labas, sa outside na, um, hindi naman siya super serious. He's also, yeah, he's also sociable. He's also fun to be with. Ganon. Anong dating sa'yo? <laughs> Sabi ni Jaime, pagdating sa dumating, syempre late siya, pero may dating. <laughs> um, okay, I get what you're saying. Ganda yung sentence mo ah. <laughs> so, you can say, Pagdating sa mga meetings or gatherings, laging late siya. Pero, so, let's say you like this girl. Crush mo siya. So, so hindi mo na crush. Hindi, crush ko pa din. Kasi, malakas ang dating. <laughs> oh, by the way, that's another expression, guys. So, kanina, I said, my dating. My dating means charming. Pero, if you say malakas, what is malakas? Strong, di ba? Malakas ang dating. Yun, very strong. Now, let's go to the fifth one. Yung fifth meaning ng word na dating. This time around, guys, it's not dating. It's just dating. Dating. No accent. Unfortunately, sa written, you can't even see that, um, <laughs> that, that accent, di ba? You can't even see that. Pero, yun. Kanina, we've been saying, dating. Dating. Pero, this one is just dating. No accent. What is before in Tagalog? It's dati, right? Before in Tagalog is dati. And you know that in Tagalog, we have the connector ng all the time, right? So, basically, that thing, the last one, that thing is just the contracted dati plus nang equals to dating. Okay, I will explain further. <laughs> Don't worry. Ayan. Dati plus nang is equal to dating, which means before or previous. Because this will be followed by a noun. Previous. For example, previous, um, previous boss. Dating, dating boss. Yan. Previous or former. Let's use former here as well. So how do you say former president? Former president of the Philippines. Dating, presidente. Presidente is Espanol. We can also say pangulo ng Pilipinas. Dating presidente 
o dating Pangulo ng Pilipinas, former President of the Philippines. I like my previous company better. <laughs> I like my previous company better because it's, um, it's nearer. So how do we say that in Tagalog? What is like or want, gusto, right? So, may lesson na rin ako dyan. And how do you say more in Tagalog? Mas. So, we can say, mas gusto ko ang dating kumpanya ko. Then, why did you transfer? <laughs> mas gusto ko ang dating kumpanya ko. I like my old company better because kasi Kasi, mas malapit sa bahay. Because it's near my house. Mas gusto ko ang dating kumpanya ko kasi mas malapit sa bahay. May tanong pa ba kayo? Can you say dating linggo or dating taon? Ah, good question. Mag Active itong si Jaime. Ay, hi, uh... Rogers, kumusta? Kumusta? Salamat sa pag-join. Sige, to answer the question, can we say dating linggo or dating taon? Hindi. <laughs> sa English, we, we do it, di ba? Sa English, we say the previous week. So, when it comes to time expression, we will use the word nakaraan, which means past. Nakaraan. So, if it's the past two weeks, we say, Noong nakaraang dalawang linggo. Noong nakaraang dalawang linggo. The past two weeks. Ayan. If it's just last week, we say, noong isang linggo. Or, noong nakaraang linggo. We can just remove the number. Noong nakaraang linggo. <clears throat> oh, noong nakaraang linggo. Yan. Uh, noong nakaraang araw. The, uh, the previous day or the other day. Noong nakaraang araw. The other day. Ayan. So, um, yung mga, yung dati guys, that for time expression. Ano pang mga tanong ninyo? <laughs> ano pang mga tanong ninyo? Mayroon na lang tayo, um, kaunting oras. <laughs> Kasi may klase ako, I have uh, another class, one-on-one -on -one class, uh, two. Pagdating ng alas dos. As for pagdating, can you give us an example of how we use it in the middle of a sentence? Middle of a sentence? Sige. Because Jaime is asking for a sentence example wherein we put the pagdating sa expression in the middle. So this is one of the examples. Um, you can use this kapag my contrast, kapag my conjunction na pero, but. Yeah. Pero, pagdating sa, but when it comes to. Yeah. Magaling siyang boss, a good manager, always um, nasa kota. <laughs> Maybe it's a sales team. Pero, pagdating sa people skills, mm, hindi masyado. Kasi masungit siya. Uh, yung mga tao na hawak niya, people under his supervision, not so happy with the way he or she handles the team. Yan, pagdating sa. Uh, halimbawa, mahilig akong kumain. Ako, Totoo yan. Mahilig akong kumain. <laughs> Foodie ako. Pero pagdating sa gatas, yung dairy, medyo mahina. Medyo mahina ang chan ko. Medyo weak yung stomach ko dyan. <laughs> so, ang gusto ko ay almond milk at um, soy milk sometimes. Yan. So, pwede yan. Oops. Nag-alarm na siya. <laughs> Mag alarm na siya. Yan. Last 15 minutes, guys. Uh, walang ano man, Jaime, salamat sa tanong. Kumusta, Peter? Kumusta? Salamat sa pagsale, pagsale for joining. Mag-recap tayo. So today, we are talking about the five meanings of the word dating. Una, dating is equal to 
arrive. So, ayaw na ng wifi ko. <laughs> ayaw na ng wifi ko, guys. <laughs> you know, this is the reason why I kept on rescheduling this first live ever. Kasi, yung wifi problem. <laughs> Welcome to the Philippines. Ayan. Dating, arrive. So, yan yung number one. Number two, how do we use this expression again? When it comes to pay, pagdating sa sahod, mababa or maliit. When it comes to pay, it's small. Pagdating sa tao, when it comes to the people, to the environment, sa office, masaya naman, di ba? So, ano, uh, I'm thinking if I'm going to leave my job kasi uh, pagdating sa mga tao, masaya ako. I'm happy with the people I work with. Pero pagdating sa sa sweldo, sa sahod, hmm, ang baba. <laughs> Maliit. Yan yung number two meaning ng dating when it comes to. Pagdating sa. And then number three, hindi naman siya masyadong maganda <laughs> o pogi. She's not that pretty or he's not that pogi, pero may dating. But he or she is charming or malakas ang dating. Um, he or she has a strong sex appeal, maybe because nakakatawa. He or she is funny or masayang kausap, di ba? Um, a person who is um, fun to, to speak with. Yeah. Talk to. Masayang kausap. Ay, number four na. <laughs> pang-apat. Pang-apat na meaning ng palitang dating ay uh, yung impression. Yung impression mo about something or someone. So, the usual phrase that we use is Anong dating sa'yo ng bababla? Anong dating sa'yo ng um, Anong dating sa'yo ng bagong boss natin? So, essentially means How do you find our new boss? Anong dating sa'yo ng bagong boss natin? Um, anong dating sa'yo ng bagong um, I don't know, iPhone. <laughs> so, how do you find this, this new iPhone? Ah, para sa akin, ano? Mahal. <laughs> Mahal, expensive. Ganyan. Anong dating sa'yo ng, ng proposal? Anong dating sa'yo ng company proposal? Or, ng business offer? Yan, anong dating sa'yo? At pang lima, this does not have an accent. It's just that thing. So, basically, this is just that thing. The word dati, which means former, previous, before, plus the connector nang. So that's how it becomes dati. Dati. How do we say previous owner? Previous owner in Tagalog. Dati may ari. Previous owner. Dati may ari. So, how do we say, oh, she's the previous owner of this unit? Siya ang dating may-ari ng bahay. Siya ang dating may-ari ng bahay. Ayan, guys. So, <laughs> yun na yung five meanings of the word. Dating in Tagalog. Oh, hi, Peter, all the way from Australia. Wow, nice. Ay, gusto kong malaman kung taga saan kayo. So, si Peter daw sa Australia. I know si Joel sa US yan. Um, and, sino pa? Si Friendy, taga Indonesia. Kau Jaime, taga saan ka? Uh, si Justin, taga saan? Taga saan? Where are you from? So, salamat sa pagjo-join. Salamat sa pagsali sa first ever live session ng Peter of Manila. Sa US, taga US. So, galing or mula is from. But if you want to say, I am from, for example, you uh, your country of origin, we usually use taga. Taga Pilipinas ako. Taga Cebu ako. Ikaw, taga saan ka? Taga saan ka? Uh, galing or mula, we use this when you when you just came from this place. For example, you just arrived 
oh, pasensya na, late ako. I'm so sorry, I'm late. Kasi, galing ako sa um, sa Maynila. Traffic. <laughs> Kaya late ako. Yan. Galing ako sa Maynila. Oh, yan. Pero, to, to say your country of origin, yan. We say taga. Taga Cebu ako, taga US ako. Oh, Oh, tama yun, buhat. But this is very formal. Pero it's good, ha? You know this. So, hi, uh, Eurohit. Salamat sa pag-join. Oh, salamat sa pag-join the unofficial Queen Mary video channel. Taga Switzerland, taga Switzerland ako. Hi, John. Alam ko, maaga pa sa Switzerland ngayon. I know it's too early in Switzerland right now because I also have a student sa Switzerland. Itong Itong oras, right? Ang pagitan, 7 hours difference. So, I know, maaga pa dyan. Pero, salamat for joining my first ever live session. Yeah, um, to answer Eurohit's question, if I do private lessons, yes, I do. Some description ng bawat video ko. Um, in each of my videos, there's a link there for you to enroll in a private class. Yeah, I do private sessions. And I tried to make a sentence with all anong dating sa'yo ng dating workplace. Oh, that's a good um, sentence. Tama yon, sabi ni Jaime. Anong dating sa'yo ng dating workplace? That's a good sentence. What is your impression of the old place or of the old workplace? Pagdating sa mga tao, when it comes to people, hindi sila dumating on time. <laughs> <laughs> Ero tama yun. Pagdating sa mga tao, lagi silang late. Hindi sila dumarating. Hindi sila dumadating on time. So you can use the present tense because it's a repeated action. Pwede. Hindi sila dumadating on time. Pero may dating sila. <laughs> let, let me see if I could copy your sentence. This is, this is, this is a nice sentence. <laughs> it's too funny. Oh, for the, ah, ayan. When I click on it, let me know, guys, if it's showing on your screen. Kasi this is the first time I'm using this app, so hindi ko pa sure <laughs> kung paano. Anong dating sa'yo ng dating workplace? Pagdating sa mga tao, hindi sila dumating on time. Pero may dating sila. <laughs> good, uh, good sentence. You were able to use all the five. <laughs> all the five, ano, uh, expression ta in one sentence. Ang galing, magaling na si Jaime. May klase ako ng alas dos ng hapon. I have a class at 2 p.m. It's a private class, so Eurohit was asking if I do private uh, lessons. Yes, I do. So guys, ito ang link to book a private class with me. Maraming salamat din. Uh, the unofficial Queen Mary video channel. I uh, just want to take this opportunity to say thank you as well because um, I know I have been rescheduling, rescheduling, rescheduling. Dahil nga sa Wi-Fi. Pero salamat sa paghihintay, salamat sa pagsali sa akin kahit ngayon lang talaga tayo nag-push tour ng live lesson. And I also want to thank those people who supported my channel. Um, I want to mention their names. <laughs> so... Salamat kay Matthew Etheridge. Thank you, Jocelyn Torre. Thank you kay Paul. At lastly, thank you kay Alvin. Wala sila dito ngayon. They're not able to join. Pero um, they support my channel. So thank you, thank you guys for supporting and donating to my channel. At kung mayroon pa kayong mga suggestions na lesson to, for me to cover sa susunod na session, E comment niya lang dyan, guys. So, it's already 1 p.m. Manila. Kita kits, guys. Salamat sa pagjo-join at hanggang sa muli. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>